Hey everybody, it's Street Pass Danny. Welcome to my first Let's Play ever of Paper Mario. Now, um, two things I want to get out of the way is that A, I am a new Let's Player, and um, B, if I screw up on any of my commentary and or um, any of the lines, I'm sorry for that. It's just I'm new to this. And C, I know there's two, I said there's two, there'd be two reasons, but there's a C. I'm playing the Wii U version because it's it's literally the only access I have to this one game. All the other ways of access are completely out of my use. So, um, anyway, enough about that. Let's get on to it. Give me a second. Um, don't worry about that. Um, yeah. Yes, Paper Mario. Now, um, I kind of have an origin to this, basically. I have knew about this game for so long, and I have wanted to play it, it so long, and let's play it for so long. I kind of learned about this game when I was at the age of 9 to 10, and recently at those times, I was playing Paper Mario Thousand Year to War, the second game, to it, and when I discovered there was this game, I really, I literally wanted to play it because I knew I was playing the series wrong. I like in chronological order wise, but um, yeah, I learned about this game so long. But the ways, the ways of getting it were either me owning an N64, which I never had one because reasons, and and then there was the Wii, which I could have gotten it on my Wii, but somehow my Wii's internet wasn't working. And so there was no way around that, and my only hope was to was to basically help it get on a, another console that I'd be getting recently. And as much as hope had, as much as as much hope of, I had of that happening, time passed and the Wii U came out. Now, unlike a lot of people who get their Wii U's like pretty quickly and stuff, I had to wait until Christmas for my own Wii U, and basically. It took me a while. It just like took me a while to where I got super interested in the game instead of just like waiting for it. I ended up looking it up on YouTube and stuff, and it made it made it like 
the whole story and everything, it was just fantastic to me. So, but then, what this also got me into Let's Playing as well, because of looking it off of YouTube, and that, and, and now, since that Christmas, I got my Wii U, and the first thing I do is literally go to the eShop and look up, and try to look up where, where Paper Mario is. I see there's an N64 section, and guess what? It was there. Now, and now I'm just super happy to be playing this for you guys right now. So, without further ado, let's get this started. My name is obviously Dorian. Um, let me spell that out for a second. That is how I spelled Orion, and that's my name. This file is found on yes. Anyway, without further ado, let's get this started. Mail call. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. I read it to you, okay? All right, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi would be an honor if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you there here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Are you getting taste out of it from that? I don't know, that letter, like, gave me some serious deja vu. I don't know. This game looks great on Wii U. I mean, it looked great on Wii and N64, which is... Wii U, it looks really great. What a magnificent castle. I never get used. I never get used to this place. It looks like a lot of guests are here already. Already here, sorry. And Mario, you're looking low. Please enjoy the party, okay? Hey Mario, why don't you go see Prince Peach? I'll go later. I, I'm thinking I'll, I'll get I'll mingle for him now. If you press A in front of the door up there, you can open it. There is um some secret. There's actually one secret in this castle that you can do. And I want to go down here and talk to this guy right here. He'll um, do something. This is Princess Peach's room. I'm afraid she isn't in there at the moment. Let's keep on talking to this guy. Huh? Oh no, absolutely not. I don't think it's very polite to go into her room without asking her first, Mario. But I want to. I said no, and that means no. You are simply not allowed to go in that in there. I 
said no, and that means that beats the same thing. Boy, you are persistent. I guess I have no choice. Hurry up in there. Hurry up in there. Through and don't touch anything. Okay. That's this is one room. Oh, one thing is, I like how he says, "Don't touch anything," and yet, when you can literally touch something, you can just jump on this couch and your feet are considered touching it. Touching it, so he doesn't even he can't even notice because he's out there. I have some suspicions about this photo. Her dresses are beautiful, but they all look the same. This must be your favorite style of dress. These are some cosmetics. Mario looks fine without them. Oh yeah, Mario. A framed photo of Mario. Quite a fluffy bed. It looks it looks like this bed was designed for sweet dreams. A vase full of lily flowers. They smell heavenly. Doesn't seem to open. Well, that's Peach's room. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty boring. Your just your decision. Anyway, that secret that was the secret of this castle, and basically, you can go in that room like two times throughout the whole entire game. That was like the first time. Your second time will be a lot later on. How was it? To tell you the truth, I've never seen the inside of a room. You live up to your job, man. Like, you live up to that. This thing has to do with your job, man. Ooh. You win. I'm here on behalf of the lovely Shiver City. I am the mayor there, you know? My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for the souvenirs with that frost tea. I come from a desert town called Jar Jar Outpost. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous. So cool and comfortable. I even get a chance to talk to the beautiful Princess Peach. What an honor. When I return to Jar Jar Outpost, I'm going to tell everybody about it. It's like... That guy was selected just to show up here. Like, Peach must have sent him like some random L like, Hey, random guy, I'm gonna make you come to my party. And when you come back, tell everybody how it was. Alright, anyway. Enough dilly-dallying, let's go see Peach. Look at that couch. I kind of find it funny because... It's the same couch in Peach's room, so it must have. So to me, I'm just thinking, all like, she must have still, she must have, like slept in one couch in like the hallway or something, and just like put it in her room. Yes, I'm Peach should just be up ahead. Oh Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you, heart. I was just get I was just resting a bit. It's the it gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Well, 
Unless they stuck up to the trees. They're, they are paper trees. Let's see if they fall in paper trees. Holy Jesus, man. I'd like to know how he, like, did the mapping under that. Like, did he just, like, walk to Peach's castle and just stare at it for a second and just go, I'll build my castle under there. Yeah, I'd like to know how that worked out well. And yet, Peach didn't notice anything. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Hey, Bowser, dude, you do know we're in space, right, man? That is like a vacuum. Like, you shining the window like that is basically a vacuum of all our air going away and us kind of dying, including you, unless you brought like a space helmet or something. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Go figure! Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I lifted your castle into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Wasn't expecting that, huh? Well, kind of. Ha, this castle's under my control now. My dear now. My dear. Now you will you will obey me. Huh? What? It's Mario. What a shock. Eh, not really. I, I expected you to turn up right now. Right on cue. You just you're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? Yeah, man, just give up. True, true. I've had my past. I had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time, I'm gonna win. Oh, really? I wanna bet. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Oh, we trip. Mario, you can do it. <laughs> that, that's some real confidence if I just tripped. Anyway. We really don't have that much options, because we have no items, because there's nothing to collect, and we don't have any really good strategies, and plus we can't run away from a spike, it's important. So the only thing we can do is just attack him, with jumping. We only do one damage. Let's just keep on doing what we're doing. Basically... This fight's gonna be really much of a rinse and repeat fight. Basically, he's gonna keep on attacking us. We'll keep on attacking us. We'll both keep on. We'll both keep on doing one damage to each other. So yeah. Good old Mario, always fight. You're you're on my side. But today your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from, from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. Yeah. Yeah. Totally not referencing something else. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Oh well. Wah! See, 
How do you like that, Mario? And now it's not a rinse and repeat fight anymore. Now his attacks are up by three. And I think he has defense now. He actually has defense. And our attacks do exactly nothing. Rah! Is that all you got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't that doesn't hurt at all. As we're in danger, the only thing we can still do is just jump on the guy. And yet we still do nothing. That Star Rob really did increase the power. Yep, just as I expected, Mario. Mario's no match for the new me. The new you actually grow glows in rainbow and neon colors. It's not it's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Yes, I know. Oh snap! And that does all our HP. And yet he couldn't use that move at the beginning of the fight. If he said Mario wasn't gonna win, he could have just trumped us in one move. Oh no, Mario, get up! I'm not dead. Yes. Oh yes, I did it. I finally did it. I beat my old rival, Mario. Yes! Congrat congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now. That's for sure. PK Thunder! Bowser wins! Oh no. Oh no! Mario! And as we were PK, as we were PK thundered out of his out of Peach's castle, we fall to who knows what man. Super wow. Mario. the prologue, a plea from the stars. Anyway, I think it's just about enough of Paper Mario today. Hope you guys liked this video, and like I said, if I screwed up any of my commentary, I'm sorry about that. And yeah, I hope you guys like this this series and this video, and we'll continue more with Paper Mario next time. Paper Mario, we'll see what these star spirits have to say to us.